Really enjoyed this segment this past episode of Impact between Taya and Rosemary. Now, before the segment, though, was the match, Hanaya the Huntress versus Rosemary. This was something I was looking forward to because I thought they did a pretty decent job with the build. Not, It wasn't the best build in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but I thought they built something to where the match was, was highly anticipated between the two of them. Maybe I'm being generous, but Rosemary probably had was in control about 70% of that match. It wasn't a squash match, but it wasn't, you know, Taker versus Michaels at WrestleMania. It was what it was, and it, it, it served its purpose. What I have been saying for a long time is that I hate when we get a... The end game is to introduce a new storyline, but when there's a match involved, it's always like a two-second... Not a two-second, but like a two-minute squash. And that's essentially kind of what they were doing here. But at least they gave us something. They gave us some kind of match to work with first, and then came the storyline. So I want to see the action and the creative, not one or the other. So good on that. And I thought Hanaya did a good job in, in just being a placeholder until they could introduce Taya back into the scene. Hanaya was essentially Taya for a little bit, but Rosemary made short work of her, which I think was essential, even though I kind of didn't like seeing it because Hanaya was so new, obviously she's not with the company, but it was essential because Rosemary, ever since she's dropped the Knockouts Championship, she has lost a lot of matches. Or she's ended up on her ass at the end of a, you know, a beatdown or whatever it is. And I think she was supposed to get that comeuppance at Bound for Glory because she's never got the upper hand on Taya. And I think at Bound for Glory, she was supposed to get that comeuppance. And we didn't get that because the match was canceled. So then Rosemary was really in limbo for a while. And then she didn't win the Knockouts Championship. So it almost felt like they didn't know what to do with her. And now she's back in this storyline with Taya. And hopefully we're going to get this red wedding match. Most of us have been assuming it's a first blood match. I have to believe that's probably what it is. Hopefully we're getting it at redemption. I don't really know. And if you know, please, please do not say so in the comments. I just I like to, you know, watch the show and learn the matches as I go. I, you know, I'm not a fan of spoilers. Spoilers get you blocked from the channel. I think the only thing for me... I really liked when Rosemary cut the promo and she said, I'm the alpha bitch, because no one no one saw that coming. I'm not a big fan of using overusing the word bitch in, in a promo. Never been a fan of that. Not for you know cheap heat, but if it's for to get a legitimate reaction and have some shock value, that's exactly where Rosemary did. Now, Taya came down and she overused the word. She must have said it like three times, and that was maybe a little bit of overkill. Also with T Taya's promo, I don't know if that we've heard Taya speak before on, on Impact. I felt like her promo was a little airheadish, like um, almost like a Taryn Terrell. And I don't think that really fits her character. So I have to believe that's not really her going to be her promo style going forward. I think it just is what she felt fit into the situation with her return and saying, do you miss me? I really like that Rosemary was like, yes, yes, let's do this. Like, I'm hungry for this. I want to do this. You know, like she was ready to go right then and there. She was excited when Taya came down. So it was all put together really well. And this has the potential to be the best knockouts feud in a long time. Like this could be, you know, the, the Kong versus Gail Kim of, of this era. If they do this right. Because I think I think we, we wouldn't mind watching this match more than once. It's not one of those like... Laurel Van Ness versus Allie, for instance, like, I don't think that's something we, I think they're doing a good job with that storyline, but I don't think that's a feud that we would want to see m more than a couple times. But I think Rosemary and Taya is something that if, you know, one of those fight forever things, like if, if they were to fight at every single pay-per-view, I think people would be okay with it. And we really need to see Taya carry a shoulder, a big load in 2018 for the knockouts for the heels. Because it's, re it's really just her and Sienna. Because they're not going to have Laurel anymore. So it's kind of her and Sienna. But I think this is really the year since, you know, um, Sienna already has a couple of knockouts title reigns under her belt. I think this is the year where Taya needs to just step up and be that amazing hill. And I, again, I really think it can be the Kong versus Gail Kim of our era. Or a Gail Kim versus uh, Taryn Terrell type of thing. I mean, I think this is a few that has a lot of longevity. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about Taya and Rosemary. 
and can't wait to see where this goes and hopefully we get the red wedding match sooner than later. Thanks for listening. Hit that subscribe button and I'm out. Peace.